I think that this is worse than Bad Moon. I think I would watch Bad Moon this before I watch worse this. Than yeah. Bad Moon. This is the new bar. This is the new bar. Yep. Uh, God okay. damn. God damn. It I was bad. <laughs> and like, we have a really high threshold for bad movies. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of A Ghost in the Magazine. I'm Steph. And I'm Elle. And this week we're covering Chupacabra territory. (laughs) Valid? That's my opinion on the movie. (laughs) Okay, this wasn't a movie. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I I hate to be like a raging bitch. (laughs) This is not a fucking movie. You know, the thing of it is, is, like, I did not expect a banger out of it because it was on Tubi. It's not even a Tubi original. It's just, like, some shit you find on Tubi. But I thought it might at least be funny, and it failed at that as well. It was bad moon territory. We are veering into bad moon territory here. And, like, bad moon is the bar. Mm -hmm. The shit bar. And so (laughs) if it's getting close... (laughs) that's a problem it is it is it was terrible and every time I thought like it couldn't get more terrible it managed to get because I literally like the last like 15 minutes I think I walked away from uh because this bitch first of all (laughs) first of all you're hiking in a skirt bro yes for days you don't go to fucking Hot Topic to get your hiking gear. I go to Hot Topic so my ass can hang out of my skirt at a show. Yes. Okay, that is why you go to Hot Topic. You don't fine. do it hiking. Like, no. there are bugs out there. You're going to get mosquito bites on your ass cheeks. What are you thinking? Yeah, this wasn't naked and afraid. No. Like, what the fuck? And, of course, she did get owned by her fuck-ass boots in the end. That look like the boots again that I wear to shows. I dress like a whore to shows, but that's because I'm having fun at a show. Like, you're not hiking. When we went hiking, we were wearing, you know, layers. Yeah. To cover. And uh, sturdy shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I have so many issues besides the. I I just have so many issues. Okay. The acting is so... It's pornography acting. <laughs> it is. It is. And they show titties. So I'm like, is this a porn and nobody told us? No. <laughs> I mean... It's a bad... Oh, God. The, again, when I thought it couldn't get worse, because I fucking took a walk, because they... This bitch used a skin book a la fucking Evil Dead... To channel a chupacabra. Of, made out of chupacabra skin. It sounds like some shit that you got duped into buying on eBay. They don't... That's not right. a thing. It is like Etsy lycanthropy spell level <laughs> shit, okay? <laughs> I had to take a walk. And then I went to bed. I had a migraine. I got a migraine after this. I went to bed. <laughs> and then I came back this morning to watch the end of it. And she literally said, I can't finish channeling this bitch until you fuck me. Um, okay. What? No. Please. Please. Okay, listen. Please. Please. I have so many issues, okay? As a a Puerto Rican lady, chupacabras are something that's our cryptid, okay? The story goes, and I'm sure that there's, like, many different stories you know because the um area uh the chupacabra area sorry the chupacabra territory has like expanded past the islands okay so the story though the basic story is that um there was a like testing facility in Puerto Rico and these things were like they escaped or they were let loose when the this facility shut down whatever it is the point is they're not they're not entities 
at most, they're big dogs with mage. At most. That's or, the kind of cryptid we're dealing with here. Or it could be like the Rancho Chupacabraage, you know, from Workaholics, where it's definitely a dog that got caught in the pool drain that has jizz and some hair on it. That's at, like, minimum. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, that would have been a more interesting... That, that clip from Workaholics was a more interesting movie yeah. than this. Oh, yeah. I fucks with Workaholics, okay? <laughs> My thing is, like, I went into this expecting a creature feature because yeah. that's what this is. Instead, you have a bargain bin witch girl who doesn't say anything about her being a witch girl at all. She says that she's an amateur cryptozoologist who's way too fucking excited to be hunting chupacabras. That she's got this book made out of skin with all these sigils and and like rituals and and like blood. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? What is she going to do with that? Also, it doesn't make any sense because they were like looking at some illustration in it. And then like, it's like the boys were the sacrifice and she was like the, the light or whatever. But, like, that's not the way it ended. I think she got eaten, too. <laughs> because it's an animal, okay? <laughs> it's it's an animal in the woods. Like, yeah. What are we doing here? Then she started putting up freaking, oh, my God. She started putting up freaking um, Blair Witch sticks <laughs> in, the, in the trees. Yeah. Hello? And didn't she have, like, uh, some kind of, like, a voodoo doll or something? Which I was also no. wondering what the fuck that had to do with anything. I think she had all kinds of stuff. And then, like, she has this unexplained weird connection with the chupacabra that makes her excuse herself to go, like, masturbate next to some trees. <laughs> like, loudly, too. She's like, oh, I'm not feeling good. I'll be right back. You went two feet away and started fucking yourself. The boys can hear you, and unfortunately, so can I. Like, why are you so horny for chupacabras? It was just and bad. There was another set of campers that they stumbled upon. They were porn stars. Oh. Yeah, for real? Porn stars. No, but like, okay. that's what they're giving. Oh, yeah. Porn stars. Yeah. I'm not going to complain about the girl flashing her boobies multiple times because that was the most entertaining part of this movie. And that was it. And that's saying something because it was a little over an hour and a half. Yeah, it was Bye. long. It was unnecessarily long. It was boring as fuck. It made no sense. It no. made no sense. that It's like they wrote a possession movie, but then they're like, let's make it about the Chupacabra for some reason. And then when they show the Chupacabra, first of, the first one, the second one was hilarious, but the first one was like a man. It was like a man-sized thing. And I was like, how do you get possessed by a Chupacabra? Right! And like, the the salt, it, it was like, it turned into the worst episode of Supernatural. Yes. Why and are then, scared of salt? And then, yeah... And then, it, and then it just became a porno. Like I don't, I don't know it what was a supernatural pornography. Somebody watched Supernatural, got way too horny, and then went and wrote this movie. Don't do drugs when you watch Supernatural because then this happens. <laughs> this shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't. It was oh god. It like I I think this is worse. I think that this is worse than Bad Moon. I think I would watch Bad Moon this before I watch worse this. Than yeah. Bad Moon. This is the new bar. This is the new bar, yep. God Arctic. damn. God damn. It I was bad. Thought. And like, we have a really high threshold for bad movies. Yeah, we do. I'm like concerned. My boyfriend <laughs> came in and like literally didn't even watch two minutes of it and, and excused himself and said, wow, that's some really terrible acting. That's <laughs> that's an understatement. <laughs> It, it is it is a very it's an understatement of monumental proportions yes <laughs> oh can't. my god it was yeah when there was 32 minutes left i said how 
How? They've literally, she's been masturbating and they've been literally spraying raccoon pee on everything. And and there's been this like creepy um guy who keeps popping up because he's like the chupacabra cover upper. And then yeah. that's it. And then boobies. <laughs> boobies, yeah. A couple of times. I um, just had a terrible time watching this. Let me be it honest. Was really bad. And then this girl, I did remember their names, unfortunately. This mm-hmm. is how Amber. Oh, um, that's who it is. She was being fucking weird about this guy that everyone knew had a crush on her. And and she was just being weird, even though she says, Come with me into the woods. This is just me and you. And then he's like, All right. Baby, I want to talk to you about something. She's like, no, no, no. Only to later aggressively bang him in a tent. Mm-hmm. There were positions. Yeah. It I know was- his name. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really? We're going to do this again? Really? I thought the same thing. <laughs> Why does he have such a basic ass name? <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens with white guys. <laughs> I don't know. At least there wasn't an Eric in this movie. No. I don't have much to say about it, but that was god awful. And then at the end she pulls the uh Heather thing from uh Blair Witch Project, which we just talked about how awful <laughs> Heather is. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm so sorry to Joe's mom and the other guy, whatever his name was, and I'm like There was a Morgan and there was a Dave. Okay. Well, I don't even know what happened to the one that was behind the camera. Morgan's the one in the leather jacket, right? And I actually, like, Morgan, I feel like, was the best character. The best Um, actor of the bunch, too. Yeah. For sure. You know, he at least was a little entertaining. You know, he was the most pissed to be there. I'm like, I'm with Morgan. Mm -hmm. His rash was gross. And that's funny. Okay, but, like, you know, when he first got the spooge on his arm, and they're like, oh, what the fuck is that? And she's like, <laughs> she said, oh, that's um, chupacabra uh, digestion residue. And I said, so poop? Is that duty? <laughs> but then she said, oh, it regurgitates. And I said, okay, so vomit poop? Yeah. Okay, and then why? <laughs> Just like, why? Just why? <laughs> Chupacabra digestion residue. She's trying so hard to sound smart. She's an amateur cryptozoologist, so she's really good at using the Google machine. And she took <laughs> these boys into the f- woods. Yup. And then they all got eaten by the chupacabra. And so did the other campers and yeah. the uh, ranger. The ranger, yeah. Who, <laughs> he looked like a porn ranger. It, it really did. was. It was giving uh or no Gay Rock's porn. trailer park girls gone wild, like yeah. the yeah. fucking uh trailer park boys when they have their episodes that are around J Rock shooting porno. That's what it was giving. <laughs> it's that show. I love that show. It's my favorite t- show ever. You know what? Any episode of that show is better than this. <laughs> they did one called the uh, The Bear Pit Project. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't mean to roll my eyes that hard. <laughs> and it was the Blair Witch Project, but like bubbles out in the woods saying he's so freaking uh frisky instead of I'm so scared. Dude. <laughs> I would rather watch that than either. Yeah. You yeah. know, found footage is one of those genres where like you can be incredibly inventive with storytelling. Uh, yeah. But some people really choose not to. That's one thing, like, I think, like, I know how much everyone hated Butterfly Kisses, but you have to admit, it, even, like, the plot devices were so much better than this. Like, a yeah. thousand times. <laughs> a lot of things are better than this. Like, this is this was unbelievably bad. And, and, like, like I said, we have a really high threshold for bad. Can we talk about the blood spatters? Whenever... <laughs> <laughs> whatever a blood spatter scene happened except for in the tent and it was like close to a camera it was almost like an ink yeah <laughs> like an ink stamp of blood it wasn't even red <laughs> on the camera 
it was it was oh, like God. another level of terrible i just this movie cost five cents to make didn't it everyone <laughs> volunteered didn't it the, dude they probably paid to play i, mean, I just what I just can't believe I can't believe somebody like wrote this and was like had the audacity to go forward with the project. Like, okay, so I was watching this documentary show on Max and I think it's called American Monster. So it's just like documenting horrible people who've done horrible crimes. Mm. And there's a man who ended up killing his friend's wife. Um, but he was making a bad horror movie and he wanted her to fund it. And I was like, maybe we just don't make this one. Maybe <laughs> we just don't. And it's giving this. <laughs> I wonder if this had anything to do with it. <laughs> because like how embarrassing that you killed your friend's wife for a shitty fucking movie <laughs> that everybody hates. I That's I want to know if somebody liked this. Um, I really do. This is one like if you like this, I want it. I think we need to interview you. We just add up. Like, we'll be we nice to have. Yeah, I I have no problem disagreeing with people about art. You know, we can have disagreements on it. I do really want to know what's up here. This is the same with like Anne Rice. If you're like <laughs> you you want to defend the witching hour, I might get meaner with that one. But oh. I'll be mean about that one. I'm gonna be honest, but not this one. No, okay. I just I'm just curious. <laughs> you know, curiosity killed the cats. <laughs> I'm aware. And, I, and, the, and like, what was up with chupacabra means goat sucker. Mm -hmm. What was with the scrotum eating? <laughs> I don't know why is all the yes. And she's like, okay, and the genitalia, bitch. What? when they the chupacabra killed the porn stars i saw it go for somebody's crotch and i'm like oh <laughs> it ate her pussy that was <laughs> oh you know i wish i could have had that on this episode <laughs> don't want to get your pussy ate by a chupacabra oh my not by a chupacabra <laughs> That's this like, is not the nice way. Oh my gosh, that's like, I, my mind is like all over the place. That's like a scary story, like one of those dumb, stupid lies you tell your kids to make them eat their vegetables or go to sleep at night. You better go to bed earlier than you're coming to eat you. <laughs> the funniest one I've ever heard was on American Dad. And Stan tells Steve that he has to go to bed early because boys who don't get enough sleep, they their glands emit like a berry scent that attracts predators. And and they show a clip and this man was like, that's, <laughs> that's terrible. That's what this is. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm honestly surprised we've been able to talk this much about this. Yeah. So. I don't have anything else to say. I would give this a, a, a zero chuds or a half of a chud. I don't know. Can, can I give it zero? Um. So, like, I can't in good conscience because that lady's boobs were magnificent. <laughs> so, I have to give it a half for the boobs. Okay. Um, out of respect. For I'll, the I'll do the same. Well, it's like respect for boobies. Like, I'm yeah. for a booby. And for everything <laughs> else? No. Half <laughs> They're lucky. They knew what they were doing. They said, "Better throw some boobs in." I mean, if you're if you're making an absolute shit pile of a movie, just you know, put some, some titties boobs. in there. Yeah, yeah, you'll get at least half a chud from us. <laughs> you can find us on the interweb at ghostinthemagazine dot site or on Twitter at gitm podcast. I'm really struggling with these, even though I say them all the time. You can find me on Twitter at witchxpinning. And you can find me at Nocturnical. Goodbye. Okay,